Good afternoon. This is Tracy. Fun with Tracy. Bible in a year. Let's go. Psalm 9, Matthew 9, Genesis 9 today. And then we're reading Proverbs 21 and Ephesians, Philippians 1. We're reading Philippians 1. Math, Psalms 9. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonders. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise for your name, O Most High. To your name, O Most High. My enemies turn back. They stumble and perish before you. Hallelujah. Thank God. It's time. Oh, uh, what's... It's about time you have sat on your throne judging righteously. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. All demons get fried. All the people get saved. Endless ruin has overtaken the enemy spirits. You have uprooted their cities even the memory of them has perished the lord reigns forever he has established his throne for judgment he will judge the world in righteousness he will govern the peoples with justice the lord is a refuge for the oppressed anyone feel oppressed out there anyone feel like the scapegoat of their family this is your hour baby a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name will trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. O-M-G. Strike them with terror, O Lord, those demons. Let the nations know they are but men. So people are going to get saved. We're having a revival California is going to have manifesting the glorious fires of heaven. Okay? <laughs> if you live in California and you're feeling a reverberation in your bones, it's not your imagination. Maybe throw out Buddha and say, Hi, Jesus. Can I get to know you now? Can you talk to me? Can you give me a dream? I'd like to know you. Well, I'd like to get to know you. Yes, I would. And I'd like to get to know you if I could. Jesus loves us. He forgives us and says, I don't care what you did. Come on, let's go. We're in 2021. I don't care what you did in the 70s. Jesus heals a paralytic. Matthew 9. Jesus stepped into a boat, crossed over, and came to his own town. Some men brought to him a paralytic lying on a mat. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to them, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. Now at this, the religious church people said, This fellow is blasphemy. <laughs> Why do you entertain evil thoughts, Jesus said. Is it better to lift up your little sheep in a ditch on a Sabbath or to heal a human being or to say your sins are forgiven? What's better, guys? A sheep or a human being or healing or forgiveness? Jesus was questioned about fasting. How can the guest of the bridegroom mourn while he is with them? The time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them. Then they'll fast. A dead girl and a sick woman. Take heart, daughter. Your faith has healed you. And the woman was healed from that moment on. Go away. The girl is not dead but asleep. They laughed at Jesus. And the crowd had to be put out because they were all hired mourners. They used to mourn really loud. They were actors and actresses. Jesus healed her, and she came back to life. Jesus heals a blind man with some mud in his eye and spit from Jesus' mouth. Yeah, that happened. The workers are few. The harvest is plentiful. 
ask the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into the harvest. So if you want to know Jesus, email me at drummergirlinc at gmail.com. Let's go over to Genesis 9. Then we're going to read our happy book of wisdom. My lift is going to be here in a little while. I'm going to work today. This is my heart's work. God's covenant with Noah. Then God blessed Noah and his son, saying, Be fruitful, increase in number. I guess the boat, yeah, if you read Noah, uh, Genesis 8 yesterday, the boat arrived on land. The flood was over. But you must not eat meat that is lifeblood still in it. So don't eat rare meat, I guess, to Noah. Whoever sheds the blood of men shall his blood be shed, for in the image of God has God made man. As for you, be fruitful and increase in number. Multiply on the earth and increase upon it. Now the sons of Noah who came out of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth, and they were the three sons. And Noah, a man of the soil, proceeded a plant vineyard where he drank some of its wine. Let's see if our little guy is coming. Okay, he'll be here in seven minutes. Okay, so I better go. Let me read a little proverb for you. Proverb 22. Need a little wisdom in your shoe. <laughs> oh, oh, God, that's funny. Oh, let's just read one line. Humility and the fear of the Lord bring wealth and honor and life. That's Proverbs 22, verse 4. Read the whole proverb. Philippians 1. <sighs> this is my prayer. That your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of wisdom. No, insight. So that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless until the day of Christ. Filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. And you know your saints and you have the grace and the peace. God bless you. Happy Saturday. Read your Bibles today. I'll put the program up. It's the ninth day to do the ninth stuff. Day nine on our year journey through the Bible. Have a blessed day and go hug a stranger today and be drunk in the Holy Ghost. Take the anointing. Take the drunken glory. God bless you. Bye. Love you, cuties.